Hi, my name is Rachel. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about all my tips for eating healthy this summer. I'm going to talk about a lot of practical tips in this video, but I first kind of want to address some things that I've been thinking and learning about, like a healthy mindset when it comes to eating healthy. I think that especially in the social media world, there's a lot of talk around this time of year as we're going into summer and everyone wants to get a good summer body and like look nice for the summer which is understandable but it kind of makes um healthy eating so much about appearances and there's all these like fad diets that you can join that say that you're gonna lose you know x amount of pounds in this many weeks and whatever these tips are talking more about a healthy eating lifestyle i think some of the issues with jumping on a diet just to lose weight it's not sustainable um and oftentimes there's these promises or these ideas that people have about how much weight they're going to lose and how they're going to look better in this amount of time and then when that doesn't happen they don't look the way they want to and they still feel unhappy about themselves then they just quit because you know the diet was only about appearances and not really about taking care of your body eating healthy has to be something that you do because you love your body, not something that you do in order to get a body that you could love. One thing that I've learned is that if you're unhappy with the way that you look and the way that you feel, um, just eating healthy or trying to lose weight and fix those problems isn't gonna make you happy. Um, happiness has to be something that is inside first. And if there's something that you don't like about your body, then you fix it. But if your mindset hasn't changed and the way you think about yourself hasn't changed, then you're just going to find something else that you don't like about your body to obsess over that. So I just kind of want to dismiss the idea that eating healthy is just about the way you look. Um, it's not just so that you look good at the beach. Like I, I hate the phrase like having a bikini body or whatever. Like if you want to wear a cute swimsuit and you like a bikini your body is fine in that like you don't have to look a certain way or work out en enough or eat healthy enough so that you like have the um, license to wear that like you can wear what you want and feel happy in the body that you have our bodies just do so much for us and it, you know we i just want to learn to be thankful for having legs that can walk and hands that can play my instruments and write and you know a mouth that can talk and and stop making it all about the way that it looks and the way that I think I should look. Eating healthy takes time um, and changing the way that you eat, changing your lifestyle takes time. Like you have to learn to be patient. Cats! Oh that's not even cats. Baby! Hold on one second. What? <laughs> Your pretzels are so loud. You can put them back. I'm done. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Let's try that again. Um, eating healthy is something that takes time. Changing your habits, changing your lifestyle takes time, and you have to learn how to give yourself grace and be willing to be patient with the process of learning something different and adapting to a new normal. And it's okay that it takes you a, a, some time to learn. Another thing I think that's super important about just a healthy eating attitude is that healthy bodies look different. Um, if you are eating healthy or trying to adapt these new ideas because you wanna look like a certain model or look like a certain celebrity or someone you saw on the TV or in the magazine or, or even someone you know, um, like your body might not be made like their body and these are going to be tips to eating healthier and giving your body good nutrients and taking good care of it but they're not geared toward making you look a certain way because honestly a lot of the diets that models eat and the people that you might think look so good are actually not healthy they're just trying to lose weight or trying to be skinnier or trying to be in better shape or whatever um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're eating healthy and that they're taking good care of your body. And that's what's more important is that your body is healthy and your body being healthy might not look the same way as somebody else's body being healthy. Does that make sense? With that being said, let's get into some of the practical tips that I have um, for eating healthy. So the first one is to switch out some food that you are already eating for just a healthier alternative. A really good example of this is the pasta that I was eating. So I'm gluten-free, that's not a health thing. 
I can make a video about that sometime if you want. Like eating gluten-free isn't necessarily healthy, it's just that I'm allergic to gluten. Um, and the pasta that I was eating previously was just regular gluten-free pasta with like rice and corn and whatever they used to make just the regular gluten-free pasta. It's just simple carbs, digests quickly, um, spikes your blood sugar, and it wasn't that good. But I really liked pasta, so rather than just cutting out pasta or trying to eat, not trying not to eat pasta in general, I instead um, have opted for lentil pasta, which is um, also in the shape of pasta, but it's just made from lentils. You could also do like a quinoa, I've seen like quinoa and brown rice pasta, um, or chickpea pasta, something like that, where you can still make the same meals. It's a really, really small change in what you're buying at the store, um, but it will end up being healthier in the long run. Okay, my second tip has to do with whenever you're eating snacks or things that are unhealthy. Um, the reality is that you are not always 100% of the time going to eat healthy food. <laughs> like, uh, there are very few people with the kind of self-control to just stop eating sugar forever and stop eating like fried food ever. So instead what you want to do is like plan for success whenever you do eat unhealthy food. And I have a lot of recipes actually for like healthier desserts and healthier food that tastes good. If you guys would want me to make a video about that, let me know. But this tip is to actually eat the serving size of the food that you eat, <laughs> especially with unhealthy food. It's remarkable how much, like we just buy a big bag of chips and then you just take your chips to the couch when you watch, no, Rose, okay, okay. this is Rose. Rose is a little minion. Rose, say hi to the camera. Say hi, say hi, I'm cute, but I'm annoying, get down. Okay, um, you take your chips to the couch and you're just sitting there eating your chips while you're watching TV. How many chips are you eating? I don't know. You don't know. You're just eating your chips. Now, if you actually look at the serving size of chips, like you're probably eating like five times that much or three times that much. So a good solution to this I've found is like pre-packaging snacks. So if you get, if you get chips, if you get candy, whatever your snack of choice is, look at the serving size and take that many chips or that many M&Ms or whatever and put them in plastic bags or mason jars are super cute if you have like small mason jars um and that way whenever you want a snack it's already packaged for you the size that you should be eating and then you can just eat one of them and you enjoy your food and then move on and not be overeating okay my third tip for eating healthier is to prepare some snacks ahead of time like plan for your snacking this has been my downfall so many times whenever I'm trying to eat healthy is like I just get hungry and I want a snack and like the appeal of snacks is that they're available like right then I don't need to go and like cook a whole meal I can just have a snack the problem is most snacks are super unhealthy and if I haven't thought about it ahead of time you know I come home from class or I come home from work and I'm like man I just really just want something to eat right now and the thing that's like available to eat is like the Cheetos or you know something that's not good which don't buy Tito's that's just setting yourself up for failure but um but plan for your snack you can do two different things you can go to the store whenever you're doing your grocery shopping and go ahead and have in mind snack foods as well a lot of times when you're buying healthy food and you're trying to just buy for certain healthy recipes and things like that like you neglect thinking about snacking because that's not an essential thing which is not but the problem is you still snack so <laughs> plan for your snacking go to the store um, think of some healthier alternatives. I like to get popcorn, just the kernels, like not the already popped kind because that has like a lot of added stuff onto it normally. But just getting regular popcorn kernels, you can pop them yourself and then put seasonings on it. You can use olive oil so it doesn't have butter, things like that. There's also lots of healthy snack options that you can just go ahead and get. You can buy um, packets of dried fruit. There's so many kinds of like snack bars and granola bars that are healthy. But just, you can try different things out and figure out what you like, but plan for the fact that you're going to snack. The second part of that has to do with like the ingredients you have. Um, so for desserts, for instance, if you're a brownie person, then have the ingredients on hand to make a healthier version of brownies. Find a recipe that you like and go ahead and buy, um, if they're almond flour brownies, buy almond flour or stevia if you're trying to cut out sugar. Like, Go ahead and get the ingredients and just have them on hand because you know that you're a brownie person and you're going to want your brownies and then you already have the stuff ready to make that snack or that dessert for yourself. 
Um, same goes for all different, there's a, you can make a healthy version of most desserts and most snacks. So just do the research ahead of time, plan in advance for your snacking so that whenever you're hungry, you have those things accessible. My next tip is to plan meals before you go to the store. If you're like really into meal prepping and you actually like prep and plan all of your meals at the beginning of the week, that's awesome. I've really never had that much luck with doing it like every single meal, sitting down and saying like, Monday morning I'm gonna have this for breakfast, like Monday afternoon I'm gonna have this for lunch, etc. Um, instead, I try to pick a selection of recipes that I want to make in the next week or two, and then I go ahead and buy all those ingredients at the store. So then whenever it comes time for dinner, I have some options of some different recipes that I went ahead and got the ingredients for, and I can just pick what I want at that point. This is really helpful because it keeps you from buying like things you don't need or things you won't use, and it keeps in your mind like healthy recipes that are already ready that you are just at the touch of your fingers, you can make them. I um, can't even, I can't even tell you how many times I would go to the store and I would just kind of like generically buy food that I knew was like healthier, buy a lot of fruit, buy some vegetables, get some proteins, you know, um, and then I would come home and I, the next day I would just still not know what to make or what to eat because I didn't plan for any specific recipes, I just bought a bunch of food and then I just look at my fridge and I'm like, wow, I still don't have any food. And then I probably end up like, you know, eating Chipotle or something. So just now what I try to do is pick some healthy recipes that I want. And I go to the store and I get those specific ingredients. So then I don't feel like I have no food and I know what to make. It, doesn't, it takes the guesswork out of trying to figure out like how to put these ingredients together to make something healthy. Um, especially when you're first starting eating healthy, it can be really overwhelming to try and figure out like how to make them because you're embarking on this whole new adventure of figuring out how to, you know, maybe pair foods that you haven't been pairing before. So it can be really helpful to just go ahead and pick the recipes out ahead of time. And then it takes, you know, all the brain work and effort out of it so that it's way easier for you. Basically, most of these tips have to do with setting yourself up for it to be easier because if you look at like fast food and easy food, normally that's the stuff that's unhealthy. So like most of my tips involve making it easier and simpler for you to eat healthy in whatever lifestyle you have so that you don't resort to the unhealthy foods that you had. My last tip is to have some back pocket recipes that are just like solid ones that you know that you like all the time. I love trying out new recipes. I think it's really fun to go online and to pick out some new healthy recipes. I like watching YouTubers that give recipes and trying them, but like there's always like those, it's, it's hit or miss. <laughs> there's gonna be some that are weird. I made some recently that were weird, um, but the, it's so important to have some recipes that you just know are tried and true, easy to make, that are healthy and enjoyable. I would recommend sitting down and coming up with like three to four of those for each meal of the day, especially if your lunch and dinner are significantly different. Like if you have to pack a lunch to take to work or school, then you should have some ideas for that. You should have some ideas for home cooked meals for dinner. You should have some ideas for breakfast and just sit down, have three to four meals that you know, if you don't know what to make, you can just make one of those things. Um, because again, it, it'll take out all the stress. Sometimes healthy eating has been very stressful to me and just an extra thing to be anxious about because I like get into the kitchen and I just feel like, oh my gosh, I need to eat something that's good for me. But then like, what is good for me? And there's all these things on the internet that disagree about what is good for me. And it just, it's so helpful to just know, like these are my three breakfast options that are healthy, full of nutrients and easy and quick for me to make. And I can just pick one of those and make one. And on a day I feel adventurous and I wanna try something new, then I have the freedom to do that. But that isn't every day or even most days for me. A lot of days it's just nice to be able to just pick out something that I know is healthy and I know tastes good and just make that. Um, I have some go-to recipes that I like for different meals. If you guys wanted me to make videos explaining some of my favorite recipes and how to make them, then let me know in the comments. I would be glad to do that. But yeah, those are my tips. Thanks for watching this video. I really like talking about health and how to take care of your body and how to live healthy both with a healthy mindset and also a healthy lifestyle so if that's something that you like watching i would love to make more videos like this 
talking about more tips or more recipes or whatever. So let me know if this is something you enjoy and I'll see you in Wednesday's video.